on all three. You see? And I think that's how he got his arm messed up. Yep. Yep. That's how he got his arm messed up. So, oh, get over there. Come in. You ran away, you you little shit. This man is a menace. Just relocating his broken shoulder. に近づいたのはその復讐のためさ。こんな奴さっさと大谷引き渡して撤収しようぜ。確かに復讐のために薬瓶なんてしたくない。だけど、まさま、和樹は初めから人のことを困扱いする生けすかない屑野郎だったじ
Oh shit. Oh, let's go. But he was playing. I'm not gonna lie, he was playing with Ojiro, so I'm not surprised. Man, get that shit out the way. <laughs> oh, with the rocket? Oh, what the blue bag? Let's go, Haru. Fuck that. You a green nigga? Oh shit. Oh, look at the agility over there, man. Damn. Oh, the bombs! This nigga just dumb blew himself up. Wrong button. <laughs> oh, crazy ho. Oh, he's returning it. と王次郎は同じ施設で育ったんだ。え?なってしまったのは僕は彼を破滅から救いたかった。うん。港トライブならあるいは。Damn. Exactly. ありがとう。ジャッジロボの妨害か。オータトライブなかなか面白いではないか。手にする勝利に何の価値が。状態を知るな。ネギロクエスチョンミ。ハフを浪費しても勝てばよいとだ。それが不正であろうとなかろうと
I already, I already had a, a clue or an idea that, you know, um, the similarity or like, um, the comparison in between, like, okay, um, Kazuki affiliation with the Chido tribe in, in some way or aspect. I, I kind of had that feeling, and it like, I, they had to be. That's what led to him having his arm broken. So, um, an interesting point. I want to make before I go to my other notes was the fact that like um, when Tension was telling um, Ojido to pretty much break his arm so he'll never be able to play XB baseball. One thing I took notice was the fact that Kazuki was uh, was left-handed because I'm, I'm I, like when, whenever I was to play like you know little. I guess not baseball, but like it's kind of like this P activity. Um, it's kind of like I guess like baseball, but it's like an activity and all that stuff. So, um, whenever I would hit the ball or the the beach volleyball, or whatever, like I would use my my left side. So that right there indicated that like my left side was my dominant side. Now. Kazuki, since Kazuki is, is, is left-handed um, and he uses this side, his his right arm basically like, you know, as the mental force to basically hit the, hit, hit the um, ball. Um, if Ojira really wanted to like end Kazuki from actually playing XP baseball, he would have broken this arm, his right arm, which is his dominant arm. That's, that's, what, he, that's what he should have broken. I don't know. It pro- probably doesn't mean anything, but like I just took notice of that because, I mean, if I'm going to make sure you don't play XP baseball anymore, I'm going to break the, the most dominant arm that you actually use when you actually hit the ball. It was just makes sense. Um, it's crazy because in the end scene where Kazuki was returning the Minato, um, you know, emblem, he was saying how he wished... Ojiro and him would have found Minato tribe earlier because because of this like Ojiro stopped smiling and another thing was like um Kazuki actually explained what Haru was actually trying to ask him in the beginning like what like what's the what's the what's the relationship that you have with you know with Chida he didn't say anything at first because he didn't, he didn't want, you know, he didn't want to explain anything. But, like, now when he's leaving, he wants to explain what actually happened or the relationship between him and Ojiro. So that makes sense. Um, Taiga was definitely the star player, you know, in making his debut return. And not only that, but he's a womanizer as well in the making. Um, he happened to, like, you know, pick up Inoki from the Ota tribe. Got him, got her fangirling over Tiger man. Like, dang. I mean, what can you say? You know, his training paid off. So, um, and, and we actually do get a glimpse of it because you and know was mentioning to Sakura the fact that like it was it looked like a tornado storm that just passed by. So that was you can see his training really paid off. Still not done yet, uh, but you know, progress and work. Um, Kazuki surprised me a bit because you know, with his speed, man, I'm not gonna say like, you know, I, I only say he surprised me a little bit because I'm, you know, I'm not too surprised because since he basically was with Ojiro and you know, like just seeing how Ojiro how fast Ojiro is, I'm, you know, like, you could, you could, I could see, like, how Kazuki will be somewhat, you know, can be, still, is will be fast, you know, so, man, he's pretty good, man, he's pretty good, it's old man, tension, you know, because, I don't know, something, something really, like, interests me about, like, Ojiro, because you can see, like, especially in the beginning episodes, when they first introduced him, you can see he was really pissed off because even though 
he does things by force, but like still. Um Tension pretty much kind of went a bit overboard because now he's kind of like, okay, now we're cheating now? Not, is, is this what we're doing? Like, I thought we just wanted to instill our dominance, but now we're cheating? Like, and doing low ball shit, like, just like the Oath the Tribe? Like, what the heck? And what's the point of playing? Hmm. You know? What's the point of all this training for if, if, if that's going to be the case? This man got his body impaled, leaning out. And you know what? I had a feeling eventually it was gonna happen, but he was just waiting on it. Like, to that point where tension was really pushing his, pushing Ojiro to the point where, man, all right, I'ma just, you gotta go, man. You definitely gotta go. And then like, you know, Ojiro will eventually just take his spot as the leader, as the head of the, you know, the Cheeto tribe. So yeah. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay up to date when there's more Tribe 9 and many more anime movie reactions coming to the channel. So be sure to hit the bell to stay up to date. But with that being said, guys, go draw up.